my name is Andrew Morris and I'm the Regional Construction Manager for the Canna River Trust looking after Southern England and South Wales. We're here today at Cane Hill Locks looking at the construction work that the direct services team are doing to the top four locks of the flight, relining the, the lock gates in order to conserve water for boaters and our trust volunteers to use. Yeah, looking after a heritage asset that's been here for over 200 years, there's always something different and quirky about each, uh, each and every one of them. All these here were built the same, but there's some different aspects in there with the brickwork or the, the, way the, the way the lock gates fit. So it's always something nice and interesting to learn. We're custodians of a 200 year old asset. I want them to be here in 200 years time. So I like to make sure the maintenance work we carried out is, is, is there for its heritage value. The work we're doing here, a duration of 12 weeks, we're working on the top four locks of the flight, uh, relining the lock gates, carrying out some brickwork and pointer work. And the main thing is to preserve and conserve the water so our boaters can go up the flight with ease. We're also making sure our lock gates are balanced so that so users can open them and close them uh, as, as necessary and uh, without difficulty. The work we're doing is that important because there's roughly 2,000 boat movements up and down the lock each year. Boats, as they would, scrape and knock the gate lock gates, causing a little bit of damage that we have to reline and repair. If we didn't carry out that work, then we'd have to replace our gates more frequently than we currently do. The average lock gate lasts for about 25 years. All of these lock gates are made out of oak with a steel balance beam. So our operatives have heritage and environmental skills. We use things like lime mortar and handcraft some of our lock gates to make sure they fit into the coins and seal the mitre gates properly. At the moment, we have not come across anything really challenging, apart from things like today with the weather, which does set us back slightly, but hopefully in the, in the days to come, this will improve, which means we'll keep, we'll keep on schedule for our finish date within March. The work we are doing here is worth around £70,000, which is part of our £45.1 million investment over the winter period.